www.rochellearthurs.com Hi guys and welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you very quickly how to manipulate the volume of your vocals. So many singers get very passionate when they're singing and what they tend to do is um, either sing very loudly in the same sentence or very low or mixture of both. So I'm going to show you how you can turn down sections of a sentence that someone may sing in the song. I guess gospel singers that will become very passionate and so passionate that their volume becomes louder and louder and louder. Um, and then it, it can sometimes affect how the track is flowing. So you might want to just turn down those sections where they sounded very loud to a nicer uh, level of volume. So you're probably thinking, how do I do this? So this is a track called um, Standing in the Rain. This is a slow interlude that I've done many, many years ago. And we're going to use this as an example of how you can do this. So here we have the hook over. That basically means um, I'm singing over parts of the main hook. Um, and these are all my harmonies. And uh, these are the two main uh, hook leads. Um, which are panned left and right, and this is the main hook over. I'm going to first of all play it to you so you can get a sense of how it sounds. And to play it, you just press space bar. I don't know why you're standing in the rain. So why you're my door down? Oh, I can't believe that you left me in this pain. Oh, I love you just so bad. Oh, I gave you every part of me. Oh, yeah. Cause I was so right so we'll stop it there so that's the gist of it so what we're going to do is just zoom in and i'm not going to press the z on the keyboard i'm going to actually uh use the the zoom in tool buttons up here and the right hand side of the screen. So we're going to focus on, as I said, the hook over track, which is this one here. Now, as you can probably see by looking at it, there's some parts where the volume spikes up. You can indicate where there's loud parts by the waveform. If the waveform seems tall, that means that's where the person's singing quite high or um, singing a certain phrase like P's tend to appear like that, like if it, the P buttons, uh, sorry, P, um, pronunciation. So I want to turn down this section here and probably the beginning bit there and maybe turn these two bits up. So how we're going to do that is that we're going to use the lovely automation tool which was going to make your life so much easier. So I'm going to zoom in slightly more so you can see what I'm doing on just those areas there that I want to adjust. First thing you want to do is turn on the automation tool which is up here. So if you just click on that then you'll notice that all your regions appear a lot darker. So you will see this line appear here. So what you want to do now is turn down this section here. So I'm going to double click on the line, two dots on either side of this region that I want to turn down. The reason why I've done that is because I want to pull down on these little knobs here and that would indicate how much I'm going to turn down the volume in that section, but leave the rest of the section the same, which is minus one at the moment. So I'm going to turn down this level slightly here. So to do that, you just pull down to minus two. Then I want to do this side to minus two as well. And now that section there has moved down to minus two by what minus one decimal. The next thing you might want to do is turn these sections up. So it's the same principle. Do two dots, double click, double click on each side, double click, double click, click again, and then you can turn it upwards. So I'm going to turn this one a bit to zero instead of minus one. So that, that's how you turn up the sound in a section of a vocal, and that's how you turn a section down. So then once you've done that, you can actually turn off the automation button because it's all set and read by the automation tool. Now, in the section in the uh, channel strip, which is on the left here, you're going to see 
that the levels will adjust to the uh, volume level that you um, had just set it in the automation. So let's press play and watch the channel strip area here when I play it. I don't know why you're standing in the rain. Why you're knocking my door down. Oh, I can't believe that you left me in this pain. Oh, I loved you just so bad. Oh, I gave you every part of me. Oh, me. I was so in love with you, baby. It's plain to say it that you and they you. by my heart. So you can see that that just moved to what I set the volume to be. So that's how simple it is to turn up and down um, vocals. Because some people do some amazing vocals and it's just that they're loud. So instead of asking the vocalist or the rapper to redo that part, and sometimes people can never actually get it the same way that they've done it before. They lose the feel for whatever reason. So to get past that, you just use this tool to create better volume for your songs and that's how easy it is i hope you found it useful and quick and if you have any questions by all means leave a comment or email me via my website which is www.michellearthers.com and please don't forget to join my mailing list at my website too thank you very much www.michellearthers.com